I'm very enthusiastic because uh, they uh, appreciate his message of, of limited government and fiscal responsibility. They appreciate the fact that Ted has uh, stood up to Washington fighting Obamacare and big government spending and, and gun control. But, and this is what but we're saying. But that message has been out there. What do you say to people, Alice, who say it's that you've got the small, smarter ground operation? We do have a tremendous ground operation, and that's, that's why we're, we're seeing a tremendous wins, as we say, in, in Colorado today, recently in Wisconsin, as well as North Dakota and Utah. We've got a great ground uh, operation and organization, but we also have a great candidate that, with a message that people are c connecting to, and he's a great retail politician. He works really hard out there on the campaign trail, and what we're seeing as, as the field has narrowed and has winnowed down to uh, virtually two candidates, but there are three in the race, uh, more people are coming to Ted Cruz. More, we've seen five of his competitors who have come to our campaign because they realize Ted is someone that can uh, galvanize and coalesce the Republican Party and really take on Donald Trump and also Hillary Clinton uh, come November. You know, I talked about in my open the fact that uh, Reince Priebus, you know, wouldn't come out and say the RNC chairman wouldn't come out and say, you know, that the nominee is going to be Trump or Cruz, the top two vote getters, but it'll be someone who's running. Did that kind of irk you guys? I mean, did you say to yourselves, given that they can change the rules the week before the convention, uh, are you worried? No, I think clearly we're going to have, uh, if we don't receive 1237 before the convention, we expect to get it on the floor. Another thing you said, Judge, in your opening statement I thought was uh, spot on, as, as generally in your opening statements, was the government gets their rights from the consent of the governed. And that's exactly what we're having here in this process. To win the GOP nomination, you have to get majority plus one. And whether you get that out on the campaign trail uh, prior to the convention, the 1237, you take it to the convention floor. And what we've been doing is working hard to get the majority of delegates in each state. And that's what's critical here is uh, winning states is fantastic, but in these states where if you can't uh, win the state outright, continue to rack up delegates. And that's what we've been doing. And it's by uh, working with the people on the ground and, and talking with these delegates and having relationships with them and that's part of the process it's whoever gets the majority plus one will be the nominee you can't just get the ball down to the red zone and be given the touchdown you have to get majority plus one and that's what we're going to see and, and in terms of the rules and what will happen on the convention floor but uh, the number one rule is uh, majority plus one right okay but you realize that even according to the numbers you've got to you still have to win something like 80 percent of you know to get of, of the primaries and caucuses to get to 1237 you think you can well, do that's, that? That's that, that's, that's possible. Uh, anything is possible. But here, here's the thing. We are, we have the momentum behind us. We have, as we said, the last four contests we've won. We had a phenomenal day today in Colorado. Mm -hmm. This comes on the heels of, of mm -hmm. four victories. Not to mention our fundraising is through the roof. We announced yesterday raising $12.5 million in the month of March, which is the highest we've had uh, since the start of this campaign. Okay. And that shows momentum. And it also shows okay. with an and average contribution of $50, great grassroots organization. Okay, I want to ask you one question before before we end. You know, um, I, I, do you at times worry that maybe your candidate is being used? Because the longer that Ted Cruz is in the race, uh, the better chance there is to prevent Donald Trump, uh, the lead vote getter at this point, from getting to 1237 and then requiring the brokered convention, and then they go to Kasich or, as Karl Rove says, you know, a fresh face. Uh, are you worried about your candidate being used? No, uh, uh, no one can take advantage of Ted Cruz. You can uh, take that to the bank. And look, we have a uh, strategy in place to work hard and win as many states as we possibly can, acquire the necessary delegates. But here's another thing. Our, our ground game is, is at work in all of these states, but we also have a plan uh, how to win at the convention and working with the delegates on the convention floor. And uh, people, right. what we saw today in Colorado, these people want someone who has been a part of the Republican